Hey, Don Barnes here for VOJumpstart.com, where you can find Studio One Jumpstart. And today we're going to talk about crossfades. And sometimes somebody wants to adjust half of the crossfade and leave the other half in. And that's a great idea. It's so simple to do. You'll be amazed. Add the Alt or the Option key on the Mac. And when you then drag the drag handle, you're only adjusting one side at a time. So it's super easy. And then I could adjust this one different or leave it alone. So what's a crossfade? A crossfade is when you have two pieces of audio that come together, and I'll show you here visually, and what Studio One is doing, and other programs can do this, we, we fade from one piece of audio to another, and we do it in 10 milliseconds, which is so fast, it's almost imperceivable. What does that do? It eliminates pops and clicks and some other things that could occur, and noise that can occur between segments. So you do not need to remove those. By the way, every time you record a segment, Studio One automatically puts in a 10 millisecond crossfade. It's brilliant. They, they started doing that a long time ago, and now almost everybody's doing it because it makes sense. It makes your audio better. So don't think you need to remove them. And then some of my tools also put in a crossfade when they're there, but that does cause this one minor thing where sometimes I have a segment right here. Let me change the color of this. And let's say we wanted to fade out this little segment here that's red, but, since there's a crossfade, and how can you tell? When you go to the bottom, you'll notice you get a little tiny X next to that. This is just a split. And when I zoom in, a split is down to the thousands of a second where it's just really an editing tool. You, nobody will hear it. It doesn't make any difference. You do not need to remove splits. When it comes to a crossfade, it looks a little different because there's been an overlap here for 10 milliseconds, and you can adjust that. But you have an interesting thing. If I adjust one side, so I'm gonna to go to the red one here, up in the upper left-hand corner or right hand, wherever there's a crossfade, there is a little drag handle. When you grab that drag handle, you'll notice it's going to adjust both of them at once. Well, that doesn't really work. If I'm, a, if I'm zoomed out here, so you see, I was trying to fade out red. I'll make it bigger here. Uh, but what is it doing? It's fading out red and it's fading in blue. Ah, I don't want that. So I'm gonna undo that, put it all, about, all the way back at the beginning. Here's all you have to do. Add the Alt or the Option key on the Mac, and when you then drag the drag handle, you're only adjusting one side at a time. So it's super easy. And then I could adjust this one different or leave it alone, and then bonus. What if you wanted to take out a crossfade? Now, I do not recommend, as a rule, you take these out. You really need to have a reason to do it, but I would not take them out. I'm gonna put these back. But let's say I wanted to. Sometimes things come up, there's special cases. All you have to do is grab either side and drag it to the center and it is gone, okay? I now no longer have a crossfade right where this seam is. I could adjust where they are. I take out that 10 milliseconds, but I don't usually do that. I don't take them out. You do not need to take them out. Don't think that you wanna go and take them all out. But I'm gonna undo, undo here and get these back. If you just want either side and then there's one more final bonus, People think they have to actually activate the events to get the little drag handle that's in the corner or in the center, and you don't need to. Even though red is not an active event, right now it's active, this one is not active. Uh, this one, blue is active, red is active. Blue is active, red is active. I always can go in the corner, it's very faint. Look in the corners of your events. The blue ones, the yellow one here, there is a little drag handle, and even when that event is not active, I can go up there, and I can grab and drag that if I wanted without activating. So I can save a click. Now, a lot, most people will activate and then they get the white drag handle and I can move that and you can see, oh, I don't want that. I only want to adjust one side. Well, that's simple. Add Alt, add Option. Now I'm dragging one side or the other and leaving the other where it is. So it's very simple. Put that all back. At the very bottom, you can see an extra X. That means it's a crossfade. This is a seam. There's no crossfade. I can add crossfades easily. Everybody, almost everybody should have crossfades, but you do. If you've been using Studio One for a while, every time you record a new segment, it automatically puts in that 10 milliseconds. And every time you use a bunch of tools that I have up here, VO replace, VO insert, VO delete, there's a reason those get added because it helps you. And the only time you don't need it is if you're doing something special, I wanna fade out red, but not affect blue here, then add the Alt, add option, drag over, and you can do that easily. And if you wanted to take it out, just drag it. And you could, there, there's so many little, little shortcuts here. People just don't know the shortcuts yet, but you know how to take out or manipulate one half of a crossfade very easily. Be sure to check out Studio One Jumpstart. 
And that's at vojumpstart.com. Hope you enjoyed this quick tip. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.